So when this happens, this means that people were wrong in their expectations. Thus, they will lower those expectations about prices. But if they do that, they will also lower their nominal wage, and that lowers the costs for, faced by firms, which is really good for them, so they uh, shift... Uh, it shifts their their aggregate supply to the to the right, and that decreases prices. But if prices decrease, then the real money stuck in the economy increases and that shifts down the LM. So the process goes like this. First, there is a negative demand shock in the economy without changing prices. But then, prices will change because there is lower output. And when prices change first, the LM will shift down because the real money stock increases. So we move to the second equilibrium point. But people were wrong in their expectations, they lower their expectations, they lower the wage, and then firms uh, increase their aggregate supply because costs are lower. And that leads us to uh, the old natural rate of output because the decrease in prices will shift down the LM, which returns to a, a the old natural level of output with lower interest rate and, of course, with lower prices, deflation. Now we could develop a better model and introduce the real interest rate here in the IS. Because we know that firms, when uh, deciding if to invest in a project, look at the real interest rate and not the nominal. So what is the real interest rate? The real interest rate is just the nominal interest rate minus the, uh, the uh, inflation expectations for the next period. So imagine we have a low output. That is, we have deflationary expectations. Then this goes down, and this goes up. And if we have higher interest rate, real interest rate, then we'll have lower investment, then the IS curve will shift down, and then the aggregate demand curve will shift to the, to the left, which will decrease output and increase the unemployment rate, but if the unemployment rate is high, then workers won't have that much bargaining power and they will bid for lower wages and that will reduce cost of firms and then reduce prices. They said, and when prices are lower in the economy, then the real money stuck in the economy will grow and that will uh, shift the LM down, which increases output. So here we have two opposite effects on output. We have the decrease in the IS, which decreases output, and we have the shift down on the LM, which increases output. And this is what you can see in this graph. First, you have the shift to the left of the IS curve because of the uh, deflationary expectations, but then you have the shift down of the LM because of the uh, decrease in prices. So it will actually depend on the elasticity of these two curves to the nominal interest rate where output is because the result is actually ambiguous if we don't know those elasticities. It could be here, it could be here, it could be here, we don't know. So output here is ambiguous.